And I came out of jail with nothing and no place to go. And the only place I could find was the New England Shelter for Homeless Veterans, which welcomed me with open arms because I am a veteran. And I happen to be a Vietnam veteran and the shelter, as you know, was founded by Vietnam veterans. When we were thinking about Calliope and who Calliope was going to be and what our purpose was going to be, it became clear that in addition to the sort of innovative, different way we're approaching music, um, there needs to be something else. There needs to be something more. And part of that, we decided, is being socially aware, looking to use music, which is bettering all of our lives, uh, as a means to better other lives. One of the initiatives from 2008 forward will be <coughs> treating the returning veterans from Iraq and Afghanistan. Things are going to get a little more dramatic. There'll be uh, a steady ramping up of people who present themselves here for help. And many of these youngsters are, are of a younger cohort than we have now. Most of our folks are from the Vietnam era. So we have a ch unique challenge socially to integrate younger people with the older group and also to specifically treat post-traumatic stress issues, which can be somewhat different in complexion from the older, the older folks. Um, this particular engagement over there, as most people are aware of from the national press, is it's a nasty business. This particular program, this particular concert, this music, was really uh, inspiring and beautiful to me. The Vaughn Williams, the Dylan Novis Pacham, speaking about uh, battle and then the call f to war and then the need for peace and then finally, finally reconciliation and the Barber on You Stay, which is really all about peace. A friend, actually one of the members of the organization said, you know, you could use a program like this to help another group. And the fact that it's uh, a program that focuses on, again, battle and peace, we thought of the New England Shelter for Homeless Vets. They were there. And they were there because I'm a veteran and because they're veterans. I never felt unsafe. Uh, it was always clean. I had a comfortable bed, a bunk bed, in a dorm with 160 other guys, but it was a place to live. I had my own locker. Um, I had three meals a day. I had medical care on site. Um, I got hooked up with the VA medical system. Um, I went to school at Vet Tech, which is what it was called then. Um, got skills that in computer operations that I did not have prior to that. I couldn't turn a computer on before. and. Now I'm using those skills on the job. So our job is to, is to help people who have made a commitment to help themselves move along. We then fleshed out the program with some March material at the beginning to really set the progression, um, and finished the program with Children's Voices, the Boston Children's Chorus at the end, as a true voice of innocence, of peace, both of innocence lost, but also of um, innocence going forward and the purpose for continuing a quest for peace. When I was approached uh, by Julia uh, and Calliope about doing this concert, I, I thought it was very exciting because of the, the, um, you know, the collaborative effort in which the group works with, it's a great opportunity for our kids to be singing with the choir and with the great orchestra, uh, but also because of it being a, a benefit concert for the, the homeless shelter, for the veterans, and I think that is an important topic for us to go on. And what we do here at the Boston Children's Chorus is we really try and, and uh, uh, have them dive deeper into a topic, and so whenever we go to an event, we t tell them why we're there, why are we singing, what is this about, whether it's a homeless shelter or if it's for the governor's inauguration, what's the significance? For a benefit concert, I, I think that's, uh, you know, what better thing can you do with your gift, uh, especially as young kids, but to learn already to give of that gift uh, and to share that gift for, for a good cause, and, and this is certainly a great cause. I'm five, just five years out, 
and um, these have been the greatest five years of my life. Uh, because of the veteran shelter, because they were there at the beginning, and all that I got in that time, the friends, the support system, um, I have a life today that's second to none. 